everybody, welcome back. It's been a while since I've been on to share anything with you guys, and I apologize for that. Uh, hectic, hectic here, <laughs> but things are starting to slow down a bit, and I have had some time to create a journal, which has been um, quite a while since I've, I've been able to do that. I've been doing smaller projects, you know, when I get a little bit of time here and there, but to, to devote enough time to do a journal, it's it's been some time. So... Without further ado, let me introduce to you, this is Nature's Pace. Um, I've been spending a bit more time outside lately, and it's it's kind of inspired this journal. Um, you know, we went through kind of a, a the winter patch where we couldn't get out as much as we wanted, but since with the warm-up of spring, um, I've gotten out, and I've just... Um, been trying to slow down a bit more and maybe bore, you know, try to be more in tune with uh, the pace of nature, and so that's how I've come up with this name. Okay, so this is one of my uh, small envelope journals, and it ends up about five inches wide. The height is close on seven. Um, and then you can see this has ended up a really chunky uh, little thing. Uh, I'd say about a, a one inch spine, but it does gator mouth a bit more on this side. Um, it ends up about two inches, and I've got it pretty full. So the, the closure is Sorry Silk, and this is a combination of um, altering an envelope, mixed with some fabric and of course paper and various textures. I've got some burlap in there, some handmade paper peeking through. And then I've added a charm to the closure and then I've also stitched uh, a charm on there. So when this is opened up, this this is on a little lobster claw so it would fall off. So you you just have to be um, careful you know, you could tie a knot on that. I didn't want to because I thought whoever ends up with the journal might want to use the charm in another way rather than keeping it attached um, to the closure. So that was my thinking on that. Um, the back, I've just stitched my little uh, logo, handmade from the Firefly Studio 67. And inside, as I said, I've, I've tried to fill this one with a lot of different little elements here. So let's get started with the, the front here. I've just got a tiny little pocket here and I've just packed it full with bits and pieces that I thought coordinated really nice with this. Um, I've got a couple of different uh, kits that I used in here, but they work really well together. And then inside this little pocket here, this little, little gusseted pocket, I've got a journal card with the scraps left over. That tucks in. And then I've made these little tutorials on the past with using up our scrap paper and book pages. When you've got off cuts, um, you can make these tiny little scrap paper um, notebooks. <clears throat> okay, sit that to the side and we'll come back to that. So I've got a tab here that will pull this open. <clears throat> so in this pocket, another handmade tag, just a little bulb pin and another little tag there. And then here I've got a just a tiny pocket there and another pocket back here. So I did a lot of layering there and then this flips over and here we've got another handmade tag in a book page pocket and I've just done some collaging around there and then on this one I've got a little mini Rolodex card and another handmade journaling card that's tucked into that little pocket there. So as you can see it's a very much a butterfly uh, theme to this one. Uh, I like working with the butterflies and the bees, as you know. 
and I like the softer colors um, with the the nature journals. I do not know right offhand how many pages are in this, but that would be in the description. I always add that information. So here, more uh, layering. <clears throat> Excuse me, this was on a music um, a piano sheet page. Uh, yeah, piano. Pi uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of the name. It's crazy. It's just slipped my mind for some reason. Um, so there's another little pocket there, and again, a pocket up here. And these are all layered, um, you know, with just various things for my stash. I'm still tackling the, the stash pile, guys. I don't think I'll ever uh, deplete that. The more I use, the more I seem to have. Here is some handmade paper. I've done stenciling throughout um, the journal, and these are old uh, papers I've acquired. I've got digitals. I've also got this um, handmade paper here that I've printed out. So here you've got a double pocket and then another tag. A bit of lace there. A little charm here with some trim. And then this is a uh, glassine bag pocket that I made with another little um, collage tag. Listen and learn. That's old music sheet. I've got some Irish linen thread there. And just a little dimensional flower there, uh, butterfly there. And then on this, this is an old mailer that I've altered. <coughs> Excuse me. And another journal card that I've backed with just some old uh, recycled shipping paper. Just another, you know, scraps and cheesecloth and some old music sheets. Just made a little page adornment. Here, a little pocket out of the butterfly with a hand stamped uh, tag that's been collaged onto that little, little tag that I cut out. And some more page adornment. And then here I've got a little dragonfly on a bulb pin and then some more of that trim. So here's just a little tuck spot um, that I've collaged and then another handmade journal card. And then here I've got this little pocket. This has got some fabric, some trim, twine, papers all collaged together and stitched. And then a couple more tags from various kits that I've got. And then this little notepad, uh, just a couple of sheets for writing. They are backed, but um, you could cover that if you wanted to, but it's just some extra writing space. And then stenciling over here, and that's of course the center and signature, and another journal card with various um, hand Handmade paper and then some shipping paper and old music note. And this is an envelope pocket, of course. Uh, and then over here I've got uh, another double pocket that I made. One tucks behind that little ticket. And then one here. And just another collaged uh, tag. Uh, this is a little canvas pocket with, you know, paper stitched and collaged and then another little tag that says harmonious. And then another uh, handmade altered paper clip here and I've added some fabric and some canvas along with a uh, some old trim and papers that have been collaged on that one. So that will come off. And you could move that uh, throughout the journal if you want to. And then this is another uh, little tag, a uh, journal card that I've made and just added some labels and so on.
And then we've got another little charm here hanging with some, you know, uh, leftover trim and trim that's been attached to the paper. Some more stenciling. And here another uh, layered and collaged um, handmade tag. And that tucks into that pocket. And again, this is the other side of the mailer. And so for here, I've made a, a large journal card that um, I added some acetate because it had, um, you know, during the dyeing process it had come out. So I added some acetate there to make a window. And then this is just another journal card tucked behind. <clears throat> And then this page has another altered uh, paper clip with some old trim and then another <clears throat> handmade journal card. And then over here I've got another tag that I've made with another dimensional butterfly. So there's a lot of writing spaces you can see um, for you to fill in, and then I'm going to also include a little envelope with the leftover tags, and there's a couple of pockets that were left over because I'm clearing out my stash, guys. Um, there was just a few. I knew I wouldn't be working with them again, so I'm going to include that for whoever purchased the journal. They can, <clears throat> as they're journaling, could add that to it. This is another a little altered paper clip I made and then this is a, just another little handmade journal card just using up scraps. And then this is a tag I made using an Edith Holden base and then I've just added some various things, some cheesecloth and then some leftover muslin and twine. And this is another envelope pocket that I've made, um, and I've just collaged on that with some extra bits, you know, that were left over. And then this is the last page, and then the back of the journal, um, another pocket here, and another dimensional butterfly. Actually, that one's got glued down. There we go. There's some old vintage lace, and couple more tags. So these are all tucked in there. So you can see there's a lot of writing space and um, it is a chunky one. I don't normally fill the little envelope ones up as much as this, but this one I was really, it's been so long since I made a journal, I really have enjoyed it. And as I said, I'm trying to clear out some of the digitals that I printed and, you know, just getting through and using up what I've got so um, that's why it just kind of it took over and <laughs> before I knew it it was it was pretty full so so that is um, nature's pace this is going to be in my shop the description um, the link to my shop is in the description box below so if you are interested you can jump jump over there and take a look I hope everybody's well and um, you know staying safe and healthy and uh, looking forward to summer. It feels that here that the weather's changed quite a bit, so it's starting to feel more and more like summer is not too far away, so I'm excited about that. But anyways, guys, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you very soon. Bye!